let me copy the index action method and we can paste that one more time. We will have to change the name here to create and this will be a get action method. Now when someone hits the create button, we will give them the option to enter their name and display order and create a category. So when the view is being loaded, you do not have to pass any model. You can keep that blank and then you can create a model directly inside the view. What do I mean by that? Let me create a view here. We will right click, add view, razor view. We will keep that empty and looks good. Let me add that. Now previously when we were working with index, I said that this is the model that will be passed from the controller. That is true, but it is not always the case. Like in our create, we are not passing anything from our controller, but we still want to work on the category model and we want to fetch its properties when we submit the form. So for that also, you will have a model for this view. That model will be the category model. So the model that you write inside view is not always the model that is passed from the controller. But if you are passing a model from the controller, it must match what you have inside the model in the view. But if you are not passing anything inside the controller, like in create, then you can bind your view with a model based on the data that you are collecting on the page. Here we are collecting the name and display order. We will use category so that we can use tag helpers to bind everything for us. Now you might be thinking, what is this new term tag helpers? I will walk you through that. But before that, let me create a form here. Give it a method of post because we will be posting our data because we want to create our category. In there, I will create a div, give it a class of border, padding of three and margin top of four. In there, I will add a div, give it a class of row and padding bottom of two. And we will add a heading here, which will have a class of text primary for the yellow color. And we will display the heading, which is create category. Let me add a HR here, save this and run the project. I want to see the view while we are building that. So if we go to our category now, and if we hit the create category button, it will take us to the create category view that we created. Here I want to display a label and a text box. So outside of this div, I will add another div, give it a class of margin bottom three. In there, we want to display a label. You can just do label and give it a name like this. That will work. But what we want to do is we want to bind everything on this page with our category model. Because of that, the .NET Core team has provided tag helpers, which starts with ASP. So here we have ASP hyphen four. When we add that in a label, we can use any of the properties from our model. So you can see it is already displaying created date time, display order, name and ID. We will select name here and we do not have to populate anything else. If we go back and if we refresh, the output will be same. Because what it does here is it displays the name of the property inside our category model. So we have it as name. So that is what it will display in the UI as well. Let's go back to the create view. And now we want an input field. So we will say input and we will just say ASP4 tag helper. This input is for name. That way it will do all the binding. And when this form is posted, it will post an object of this category class with the name populated. We can give it a bootstrap class of form control. Let me save that and refresh. Whoops, I closed that. Let me run it again. And great, you can see a text box right here. This looks good. Let me also add a text box for the other field, which is display order. So I will just copy this 
paste it here. The ASP4 will be display order this time. Let me save that, go back and refresh, and great. This looks good. You can notice the name of the label is display order without a space, and that is because inside category, that is the property name itself. We will fix that in just a second, but I wanted to show that. Now let me add a button here to actually submit the form and I will add a link to go back to the index page of the category controller. So we'll go to create here and we will add a button, give it a type of submit. We will also give it some bootstrap classes of BTN, BTN primary and I will give it a width of 150 pixels. I will call this button as create. Next, I want to add a link here. This link, I want to go back to the index action method inside the category controller to load all of the categories. So it is more like a back button link. So first, what is the controller name? That is the category controller. And what is the action in there? That is the index action. We will give it some bootstrap classes, BTN, BTN secondary. And I will also give it a style with the width of 150 pixels. Within here, we will display back to list. Let's go back and looks better. If we click on back to list, you can see that is functional. Now in the next video, we want to hit the create button and create our category. With that, let's continue from the next video.